Hello everybody, this is going to be a little tutorial on masking in After Effects because I did get quite a lot of questions uh, after I uploaded my last montage on how I sort of brought up the gun um, before I, like, before the rest of the video came in and in case you're not, you don't know what I'm talking about actually, you can of course just go watch the montage uh, or I'm pretty sure you will also see what I'm talking about when you actually watch what I'm doing. So I made a new composition right here and I'm just going to pick a random clip that I have. Um, nothing special really. I don't even know what is on the clip, but oh, never mind, right here. And just drag that on there. So you see I have some gun with a holographic side. And just gonna pick out a part. Okay, that part sort of seems good to show you what I'm trying to show you. So you can kind of shorten the video here. Okay, you don't. So, so what I want to do right now is mask out the gun from the rest of the video. Um, and uh, Obviously, when I was actually doing this um, for my montage, for my next one, I would be going very detailed. I'm just going to show you, like, I'm going to, I would put down a lot of points, something like this. But it obviously, it, it takes a, uh, a lot of time to actually do this because you will have to animate the points and shit. So I, I would be putting down a lot of points and uh, that's obviously going to make the, the whole thing a lot better but it really just takes a, a really long time. And masking is not a hard thing, it's just, you know, as I said, the more, the better you want it to be, really it's just going to take more time. Um, so I'm going to make a really basic mask for this tutorial which obviously doesn't really fit the the gun very well. So okay, this this is gonna be good enough. So you notice once I uh, sort of connect the last point with the first one, uh, it's gonna mask out the whole thing, and it's only gonna show the part that I selected. Now you can, uh, if you press on this little arrow here, or which it also shows you there, the letter V, when you press that, um, you can uh, move around the points themselves, or you can, of course, also um, select the whole thing, like the whole mask, which is right here. Um, select the whole path and move the whole thing around. Um, yeah, and now if you want the gun to be okay, I'll, I'll actually do this part first. Um, like the, the less points you have, sort of, the more feather I would put on. So for say, it looks a little bit smoother when you have a little bit of feather if you don't have so many points like I have here. And that really, it still doesn't look exactly amazing, but um, I think most people are gonna agree that with this feather on it's gonna look a lot better than having this uh, sort of very hard edge around and obviously if you like really would mask it out perfectly like this uh, you would not need the feather because it just fits the gun perfectly but uh, as I said it takes a lot of time now, uh, if you want to animate the gun, so you uh, also want uh, the gun to move while it's um, only showing the gun, you will have to press this little stopwatch. And this here are the keyframes, where you can zoom in. And I'm just going to go to the next keyframe, which actually is a lot different to the first, usually. And so you can select the whole thing and turn that obviously it's not going to fit perfectly because you know it's a three-dimensional object moving around in the game and then you're gonna have to adjust all the points and you know you can 
select a couple of points at the same time. But really, it's just it's just a lot of time that you have to put into that. And uh, no. So let's let's pretend this was actually looking good. <laughs> so um, you know you can obviously you should not only do this for two frames but for a couple more. And um, well, another little thing that I want to show you is you can actually if you want to move the points and you don't always want to have to look mm, right here would be for example a point where I would put something on. Um, you don't always want to have to look for that first. You can sort of turn off the mask effect so you can see the whole thing. Um, that's really helpful for editing. And also, um, just going to turn that back on. Also, if you, for example, wanted to sort of mask out that uh, inner part of the scope as well, you would just have to go, you know, make a second mask with the pen tool right here. And, you know, mask that thing out real quick probably one more point right here so it doesn't look quite as shitty and then you would go down to this uh, little option what I just showed you and you would select subtract and that would make that transparent and uh, obviously the more detail you make it and the more frames you make the, the better it looks and yeah, right. Um, another little thing. If you want them to bring up the gun and like the, the background, I mean the rest of the video, you I think you get what I'm talking about. Then you would have to duplicate that, which you can do by Control D, and then you would just uh, animate the obviously take the, the mask off there because you don't want that to be. Yeah, masked. And you would just go and turn up the opacity of that. Oh, wait, there we go. And yeah, it's not gonna look really fantastic because I only made two frames. But set down that one to zero. So you see right there it would still have like be completely black and then um, sort of the video would slowly come in and uh, yeah I think that sort of explains the whole masking thing um, I hope this helped if you have any other questions now I don't know if I'm really like sort of good at tutorials um, because I'm not really good at explaining but just ask and uh, you know, I'm, I'd be happy to make another little tutorial or, you know. So, yeah, end of tutorial. See you guys. <laughs>